Hello everyone, my name is Reese Gibson with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. Today we're going to go over part three of the solid tool creation module. As you know, you can download 3D tools, 3D models from tool manufacturers' websites and bring them into Mastercam. Now you can either go through the tool lathe manager right here by creating a new tool here, or I liked as my favorite, go to create a tool path. And create the tool on the fly. Now from, from this process here you basically right click and you say create a 3D tool. First you name this. Type in any name you'd like. Also de determine if it's a boring bar now this will help in the search engine when you when you create operations it'll basically the library will go to certain tools if it has a home position you can either type in the home position if you want to use the home position from the tool you or you can also click this button right here and say I want to use that as my home position just figure out if it's metric or inch you need to know this before going in if it's a right hand tool or left hand tool now again these all can be changed on the fly. Next. Now, the model can reside inside the file on another level or externally. I'm going to use an external file. So, this is the model I downloaded from the website. From here, it wants you to pick what is the insert, what is considered the insert. I'm going to grab this piece right here. Next, it wants to know the corner radius. By selecting this right here, you grab the radius. Next, it says, what's the holder? Again, you go retrieve the file, open the file, the external file, and pick, click on the holder. That's considered a holder. Now we know the cutting in and we know the business in. Now, the, the connection plane. Connection plane, you want to you want to pick the back of the cutter. Now also if it's a if it's a cylinder, you want to tell it the diameter of the shank by clicking this right here. Grab your edge. Now, if the insert from previous previous videos, if the insert is not mated to the boring bar, to the holder itself, this is where we use these functions, which was in video number two. Since mine is in the proper position, we can skip this step. Next, it wants to know the cutting plane. Okay. Cutting plane can be the bottom of the tool or the insert. It just wants to know what plane it wants to uses it to align to. Now by right clicking in top top view, remember you're looking down on the turret right now, it spindles to the left of you, you're actually orientating this tool now. Now if you say if it's opposite, okay. hit next. Right now it needs to do a silhouette boundary. Basically it's trying to slice the boring bar and the insert and find a, a silhouette boundary. Now at this point the reason it's not showing up and it's, is because we need to loosen up our tolerance right here. Okay. Now it creates a insert as one color and my blue line is my holder color. Now, is it a horizontal or a, a vertical? Is it a counterclockwise spindle or clockwise? Okay. Now, if you notice, the insert's changing color. Yellow meaning it's upside down. 
orange, meaning it's right side up. Now, is it a horizontal tool or a vertical tool? If it's a horizontal tool, we can reverse it. Is it a vertical tool? Now, these all can be adjusted back here as well. See how I went back? I backed up. You can always hit back and adjust your settings. Now, I have my blue line as my holder, outline as my insert. It's counterclockwise, meaning M03. It's a, it's a left-hand spindle, meaning main spindle. It's a top turret. Now, if this was a lower turret or a right-side spindle, you would adjust accordingly. Now, it wants to know which way it, which way it plunges, which way it cuts. Um, and you also can pick your quadrants that you're going to touch this tool off of. When you calibrate the machine, it wants to know where is the imaginary point, which is really right here. Master Cam compensates for everything. Mm, I believe I want to switch my, my plunge cutting. So we're going to cut towards the spindle and plunge up. Now from here we want to scan our tool geometry so we can get our side clearances height. Okay, by clicking this check right here. Now, it wants to know where the center of the insert is. See this? Okay. If you click the, if you click the center point, since there is no center point, we can use hit your escape key, we can use three points or two lines. Three points. Space them out 120 degrees if possible to get a good average. And I'm clicking on my insert. Now it found the tool center. So hitting next, you give it feed rates, your defaults, and by clicking the green check, we are complete. Back plot shows your tool. Also, if the tool doesn't have enough clearance, it will be checked for collision. The bar bar looks like it fit, correct? Well, if you didn't download the documentation, you wouldn't know if it's going to clear how deep you could go with this tool. So by hitting my start key, play button, the tool's going to come in and it's actually going to make that, that cut. But you notice it says, ooh, the holder drugs. So we don't have any clearance past this right here. So that tool isn't designed to go that deep. That concludes our third video. Thank you for sharing. Hope to see you soon.